Hello my friends and welcome to my video about my 3950X Ryzen review. The goal of this video is to establish my thoughts, my reviews, my ideas of the reason why buy a $750 processor over $800 with tax. Is it worth it? Who is it for? And what is the best, best configuration that I've found for it to work with your system? So I'm currently running a 3800X Ryzen board with 3600 MHz RAM. The board I'm using is the Aorus X570 uh, Pro Wi-Fi 570i. That's the ITX board. I really like ITX computers because it just minimizes on the clutter. The computers take up less space. And with nowadays the miniaturization of modern hardware, things could uh, run pretty cool and quiet and very well. So the answer is no, most probably people would probably not need it. But it is kind of nice as a hardware enthusiast to actually have having like really good hardware. I've really enjoyed the 3800X processor. And because I have several computers all running Ryzen, that when I'm upgrading this one, the, another PC is going to get my 3800X processor. So right now where I'm going to be replacing one of the computer's coolers, and this is the cooler that I'm going to be running uh, on that computer, the U9S, it has a 2700X. That processor is slower, louder, and also creates more heat. When a processor creates more heat, it runs the cooler at a bigger capacity. So if you want your computer to be running cooler, you want a, also a better cooler. But uh, if you have the seven nanometer process, which this is built on, you have the additional benefit of it being more power efficient, more powerful, and ability to do a lot more. I'm on my computer a lot and I, I love PC stuff. I watch the Linus Tech Tips channel. Level one text is really good. Uh, Tech Jesus is good too. I forget his name. Nexus. Anyways, so most people won't need it, but we all have to come up with justifications in order to spend money for really nice things. But what I do find is that when you have really nice things and you can be appreciative of them for, and if it's running on your main system, for example, it is something that could be there with you for years. And nowadays with the stuff that's happening, um, unfortunately, uh, with the China and the manufacturing capacity that might be disabled for a while, I figure when you have the chance, take the opportunity. So in some ways, some people could describe it as fear of missing out, but then at the same time, it's also, um, hey, if you, if you could afford it, if, if it doesn't cause you financial hardship in order to get it, to be able to have the nicest thing, then might as well get it and enjoy it especially if this 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 thing was sold out for a long time and apparently it had really large demand or they just couldn't produce enough of them so what's cool about the ryzen 3950x it's a 16 core 32 thread processor and we're talking this about this in a desktop platform intel used to be a lot more expensive with the same 16 cores it used to have an 18 core like closer to two thousand dollars i probably wouldn't spend that much but the added benefit, the way that AMD has uh, designed things, is that it created an ecosystem with supporting the boards, even from most boards from the first generation, X370, X470, and now X570 boards, all supporting the uh, upgrade of the processors. It makes a person like me think like this, economics-wise. Hey, I could actually upgrade two computers because my main PC does have the 3800X. It's a modern processor. It runs cool, quiet. I'm really enjoying it. But what's in store with this? And the way that I see things is like this, like my viewpoint. It's called build it and they shall come. So... I feel like having that crazy processing horsepower as a beneficial way of maybe running more programs at the same time. 
I like the idea of having a more processing cores so that even if you have a lot of processes running in the background, a lot of uh, RAM, as an example, um, I used to build PCs only with 16 gigs of RAM. Now I only build them with 32. Why is that? I find that with all the programs I have open, with the Chrome tabs, with the, I, I use Opera actually, I like Opera better because it has this pop-out window. But anyways, I find myself consistently using over like 13 to 15 gigs of RAM. If it, if it was in the olden times, I would be hitting a wall very soon. But having the 32 gigs, ha having that extra headroom is fantastic. And having that extra responsive processor, you, you're able to run all that things very quickly. But I do find sometimes when I do open too many things up at once, it does slow down a little bit. And I was thinking like, what would it be like if I had the 16 cores? And that's why I got it. I want to try it out. I want to see what it's like because I'm having a really good experience with the 3800X. The previous generations weren't as good, but AMD definitely, I think, hit a home run with this line of processors. And here's also my viewpoint between the 3700X and the 3800X. I do have a 3700X system, but that was the only thing available when uh, the new generation of Ryzen launched. So I got that and built a PC with those. 3700X is excellent. Uh, lower TDP and really good. But I heard a window from level one techs say this, is that the 3800X has one huge eight core chiplet on it, as opposed to possibly the 3700, if I understand it correctly, that it might have a couple four core chiplets, uh, separate NUMA nodes, and somehow with, via Infinity Fabric, they could interconnect. So that's fantastic, and also probably when you have the, the 3900X, which is not this one, the 12-core the processor, it could have like maybe a 6 and a 6-core. Because when they produce it, when they produce the chips, only a few of them, the creme, creme de la creme, the, the top ones, can be in a chiplet by themselves. So the, that is why you're paying the you know, extra 50, 70, 100, sometimes $100 for the 3800X because it might have uh, better horsepower. So having my main PC with the 3800X, I've been really happy with it. Uh, constantly over 4 gigahertz, probably 4.1 running cool and quiet I, that that's what I, I like PCs to run cool and quiet unless I you know I load a game with them so with the concept of build it and they shall come I feel like I could motivate myself possibly to learn a little bit more about DaVinci Resolve and do a little bit of video editing here and there to be able to get my points across but I do feel like I should still continue honing my skills of being able to get my point across in as few words as possible because you know we all get busy, we only have so much time, and it is entertaining watching people. But here's what I'm basically going to be doing, is I'm going to be putting a replacing on my X570 board, this one, the ITX board that I have. It runs fantastic. I love this specific Gigabyte board, is that 3600 megahertz RAM, which is the specific sweet spot for this generation, just runs out of the box with it. 3600, set the XMP profile and you're off to the races. Fantastic. Gigabyte it did a home run. I, I've been actually be having an affinity towards Gigabyte boards lately, especially. I had a, I have a first generation X370 board. Oh, it's fantastic, actually. I, st I still love it. It's in, it's in one of my other PCs. So, this is going to be paired. This processor does not come with a cooler. So, it is a hefty price tag, but the other one comes with a free cooler. But I personally found that the, the, the included coolers with the 3800X, it's fine for most people, but I like having the best of the best. And I believe Noctua is the best one because, you know, with all the reviews I've watched personally, is that Noctua fans, they make the least noise and give the most power with the least amount of RPMs of the best cooling performance. So right now my 3800X is being cooled with that cooler. Hopefully it should be enough with it. And I'm go I am going to be using an air cooler, but I think with modern components, it's okay. So if this guy stays at four gigahertz all day long, I'll, I'll be okay, 16 cores. I'll have to somehow chug along uh, with it. And I've also switched out, switched out of using Thermopaste um, for a while now. And I've been using this IC Graphite stuff. Linus Tech Tips actually did a review on this, and that's why I've been getting it. This thing has amazing reviews on Amazon. Perhaps I'll link it, but you know I'm not planning to give any affiliate codes, so I might link it, I might not, just probably look it up. Uh, the benefit of this stuff is that it doesn't get messy, 
It's easy to replace the processor. It also doesn't degrade. What I believe with thermal paste is that all of them dry out at some point. And when you have dried out thermal paste, you don't have a, the same thermal performance. With less thermal performance, the fan has to spin louder and hotter. And we don't want that. So in the end, summarizing things. It's cool if you could have it. For me as a tech enthusiast, I love it. It's like somebody having a hot rod card that's an enthusiast in that market. Uh, it's also a motivation for me possibly to learn a little bit about DaVinci Resolve and uh, do a little bit of video editing and learn about this thing because right now we're all communicating through video and chat and pictures and things like this. We're living in a completely different world. So uh, that's, my, that's my thoughts on it and another PC of mine is going to get upgraded with my 3800X which has a 2700X in it. So two PCs get, you know, upgraded with this. And also I've been kind of following the principles that if you could double something, that's a, that's a true upgrade. So really happy to do that. And yeah, I did upgrade this PC from a 2700X to the 3800X and I'm happy I've done it. I'm uh, happy to be running the best components that I can. And the, the experience also, it's nice. I, I can only say it's really nice ever since the X570 platform with the with this specific gigabyte board with having full RAM speed and VME 4.0 drives. I recommend the gigabyte one too because it's encased in uh, solid copper. So it has a nice copper heat stink around it. Yeah, you could remove it, but why would you do that? Because it gives it a much better thermal performance. So that's my review of the... 3950X, why I bought it, or review at least up to this point. Uh, maybe I'll do a conclusion review later, splice it into here, give it a link below, but I don't know. Just did it, doing this off the cuff, doing it out of my own passion with the hardware. Love to hear your comments below. So go ahead, you know, comment, uh, see what you think. You know, what, are, what, what would be your reason why you would get a 3950X? Because we all have to kind of like... Uh, break through that barrier eventually it's like buying 750 dollars processors plus tax and shipping it depends it depends if where you're ordering it from uh it becomes kind of like by the way i think micro center might have it for 700 anyways that that's my take on it write your uh, views below and happy to talk talk soon bye